Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode of Data Integration with Talent ESP. On today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a client um, integration with SOAP. SOAP. So um, I'm going to use SOAP UI, Talent ESP, and um, yeah, you can use also a text editor of choice. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to get a um, hold of a whistle file. I have made a search on Google and I found this one here at tutorials.com. Um, so we copy the whistle file, the contents of the whistle file. Let me just select all the contents of the whistle file first thing that we're going to do is um, we need to mock the service or to simulate or emulate it in any way so I will need a text editor for my whistle file I will save it let's save it somewhere I, where I can find it um, there you go. Now I need to launch my SOAP UI. I have done already. So from here you just have to click on create a new SOAP project. Browse until you find your file, the whistle file. Um, select create request click ok so now we have here if we display the say hello we have here what should be the request body or payload for um, this service remember we're going to create a client on the talent ESB platform and here on SOAP UI we're going to simulate a server so this request I can say something just like that I will need a request later on so I can right now also create the um, mock so if I right click on say hello world you can see the option add to mock service so I will call this mock um, open mock response editor I say yes so this should be the response right here so I will write a response hi I am it's so up server mock responding. We close this and if we double click again, probably this time on the response now on the mock, then we see the um, restart or start minimizing. I will choose to restart so I can see exactly what it's doing. So it's starting right now, the mock service um, is running on port 8080 and it will, this will be the request that we need to send to this mock service. So now we go on to Talent and start working on Talent. So the first thing that we're going to do on Talent is um, scroll down to routes choose a directory proper directory for your project and let's call this um, swap integration finish so on the board since we are going to discuss only the principle of implementing swap 
I'm not going to integrate with anything right now just simulate um, a portion of a route by adding a timer with a repeat one on it then we will need a to set the body so what we are setting as the body should be the what is suggested here as a request message so I copy this head on to my talent again and if we scroll down to resources on the resources we can just right click create resource let's call it um, something that is similar to SOAP integration request so that will be our request I paste the request into it save close and save so now we should go onto dependencies click on add and add or request message this is one alternative to doing this because I am simulating mm, a route in action so usually you should be getting that message probably from another route service or file still is also a valid technique because it can also be transformed later on I might show you later on how to do that anyways we have here then to select simple now we're going to load the request message into the body and the technique the way to do that is by just typing in resource column class path column again if we move back onto dependencies we can copy the path just to be on the safe side and paste it here so now we could just give it a try by see logging it just to see that we are printing out the message that we want to send onto the server and we do that by just typing in body into the message output if we build and run the application which you see now that this hola is the message that I want to send to my mock server so we can continue the next thing I will need is um, to set up a CSOAP component there we go CSOAP now I can bind with it and if I double click or right click settings we have here certain certain parameters that we need to fill in so that's the option to load a whistle file from a file or from repository we're going to load it from repository but it is not yet in our repository repository here states for everything which is under resources so I'm going to add that whistle file to repository I already have the file because I just used that whistle file in order to create the um, SOAP project so I will create resource or better I will just import items because it's on my on my local Um, where is my whistle? Uh, 
um, didn't work. In fact, I have to create a resource and browse to the file. That is what we need to do. So I import my whistle. Finish and close it so that it gets load properly. Next thing will be to go on to dependencies and add that whistle. Just as we did for the request. Once that whistle is add onto the resources, then we just need to come on here and choose the three dots select the whistle next we choose the row right here and now we can just open the whistle and start analyzing what it's inside that we can use to complete the rest of the requirements here so we need um, first of all we need to target the local um, target the service that we are marking on the local host and the port will be 8080 so we choose the 8080 what will be the service operation we check out here we see that we have a service operation called say hello so let's add this operation the say hello operation then we need to um, configure these three portions right here and we start by adding the namespace right the namespace or the target namespace which is here in the definitions tag we just copy this URI and add it into the in fact we will add it to all the three fields and then we need to identify the service name The service name is right here. Copy and paste the service name right after the namespace. Then we need a port name. We need to find the port name. We have a port type. We have a um, um, Support name, output, service, port binding. The port binding. Mm. And then we have the name here. I think this is the one that does. Finally, we need an operation name. Let's find an operation name. In fact, the operation name is the one that we are using here but let me see if I can identify here yes this operation name here so the operation name the port binding name and that's pretty much it for the configuration of this component now we just can close it so then we should get a response from the service from this component we inject it with the request and out of this component should come a response that response we need to convert into a string we will use this little component and finally we should be able to print out that response right so that should do it next we just need to 
build and run and hi I am the soap server map responding so that is how you um, set up a client implementation on talent ESP well that is one of the multiple ways in um, another video I will show you how to do this um, using probably another type of component thanks for watching hope it was helpful